So welcome back to Tech Bytes here at Ingezat, and uh, it's all really good to see you again. And um, I'm really super pleased to be talking about a really amazing topic today, which is artificial intelligence. And, and with me today, I really want to welcome uh, a, a superb person, uh, Mr. Saif al Suedi. He's a senior studying, at the compu uh, studying computer engineering at the Penn State, if I've got that correct. No, that's right. Absolutely. Thanks. So well, welcome to Tech Bytes. It's really good to have you here. Uh, we're going to learn a lot today uh, about the journey that you've been taking with us at Ingezat and the IIAI Institute, which is an amazing organization focused around artificial intelligence. So, thanks. thanks for having me, Martin. It's really fantastic to see you. I, I think I got to meet you probably about two months ago. Yes. And, um, you know, I hope this has been an amazing journey for you. And, and now, you know, this is the time where I, I get to ask the questions. So how has that been for you? Absolutely. Okay, so thanks. So I had a few questions in my mind. Um, you know, coming directly from the academia, where your studies are focused on the artificial intelligence, you know, what specifically has been your learnings while you've been with us and with IIAI? Well, uh, thanks for having me once again. Uh, during my time, uh, both at Njazat and the Inception Institute of Artificial Intelligence, uh, I'm glad to say that my learning, my learning curve has been remarkably steep. Uh, I've acquired a, I think I've acquired a wealth of knowledge that uh, goes far beyond the conventional uh, teachings of the universities and the academic sector and rather requires a solid presence within the corporate uh, world. Uh, for instance, one of the, the main things that I learned while being here at Njazat was uh, the different uh, software project delivery methodologies uh, like Agile and Scrum that are used and aimed uh, to optimize the efficiency and execution of those software projects. On the other hand, during my time at the Inception Institute of Artificial Intelligence, uh, my understanding of AI surpassed what I've been uh, taught uh, during university. I've been highly engaged in highly technical articles that uh, talk about the hardware peripherals of, of ChatGBT, uh, particularly, trans particularly transformers and their different layers. Uh, for instance, the masked self-attention layer, the feed-forward neural network, and how it functions. And then I moved on and uh, went to understand how uh, such uh, models generate outputs uh, and how those tokens that it generates are kind of interrelated through scores that are calculated by the, self, uh, the mass self-attention layer. So it has been quite a few things that I've been learning and I'm, I'm, so, I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to do that. Yeah. Wow, that, that sounds absolutely amazing. I'm sure a lot of people out there are thinking, what are some of those terms? But we'll, we'll be sharing a little bit more information about that later. So, so tell me, has there been something sort of special that you've been working on? And, and that, what you've been working on, how, how would that deliver into a, a real world situation? Oh, absolutely. Uh, during my time at the IIAI, I had the privilege to work as a labeler in the fine-tuning process of the Arabic uh, large language model, the LLM, that is currently being developed by IIAI. And uh, uh, fine-tuning, for those that don't know, I, I just explain it in a very sure. basic ma matter. Uh, fine-tuning involves a, a pre-trained uh, neural network uh, that we want to optimize and make it uh, produce more desired outputs. And so as a labeler, I'd uh, test the, the, the large language model against other uh, models such as GBT-4 or LAMA-2 through something that's called an arena. So as a labeler, and which, uh, which my native language is Arabic, so I'd give both instructions uh, in Arabic to both uh, uh, models and in the arena both would generate different outputs and uh, while this is happening I take notes about minor uh, maybe minor inaccuracies or flaws that might be used and corrected by the folks uh, uh, the applied scientists at the Inception Institute uh, and at the same time I rate uh, within the arena which response was uh, better and uh, based on my feedback a reward model would be trained and this reward model uh, in the, within the fine-tuning process would generate this more desired output. 
Uh, and so I consider this a, a very important and a crucial uh, role that I've been playing throughout my internship since I'm contributing towards a, a potential large language model that is going to be used across uh, the government itself, the UAE government and the different sectors, and uh, maybe perhaps uh, be inclusive uh, within its decision making. Wow, uh, that's absolutely amazing. I, I, I certainly can understand the importance of you know, when we're switching languages, you know, what is, the, is the output matching because they shouldn't be inconsistent. So it okay. sounds amazing work. So that's really a, a very powerful deliverable. Um, you know, uh, I think for many of us, you know, artificial intelligence is, is a word that we've heard for a long time, but in the last one year, it's really become, you know, a very pr prominent uh, topic, uh, especially with the, with the promotion of the GPT and the chat GPT side. Um, from your own experiences, what you've seen on, on the learning journey, what do you imagine or what can you see happening in the next one to two years on, on this journey? And I know it moves very fast now, right? Yes. It was like many, many years and now it just is getting very compressed. But what, what's your feeling on that? Uh, well, Martin, that's quite an interesting question. The AI field is uh, currently experiencing an exponential growth. Uh, I can observe that uh, large uh, and high-tech companies such as Google and Meta are uh, so much into investing into the AI field. And I'd, I'd assume that within a year or so, those, those uh, highly regarded high-tech business, uh, uh, business corporates would adapt or adopt a, a, a large AI tool that might be inclusive uh, within their business uh, decisions or uh, whatever they're planning on doing in the future. And uh, the, actually, Martin, we, we've actually spoken uh, a few times on, on within, uh, like within Injazat proposing an AI tool that might sometime in the future uh, analyze uh, different business proposals. Mm. So I believe within a year or so, those, those, uh, those uh, business techs would uh, adopt uh, such tools and it would be inclusive within their decision making. No, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. And it's good that you observe that. I, I think in all areas of business, this, you're going to see this rapid expansion in different business verticals and, and high automation that we, we probably didn't even predict this a few years ago. Not even though we, we sort of saw it as a very long future vision, we, it, it's very hard to appreciate just how fast it's moving. So, so thank you for that. Um, and so, so here we are in the UAE, um, and there's, as with most countries, there's a lot of buzz around AI and the directions. Where do you see the UAE in, in its positioning within the world of artificial intelligence? The, the UAE is, uh, the, we, it can be seen that the UAE is embracing AI with open hands ever since 2017, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the minister's cabinet appointed a new position uh, and appointed a new minister that's uh, in the new ministry, uh, an artificial intelligence ministry, mm. actually, that, uh, that has the responsibilities to integrate and uh, regulate the development of AI within the UAE. And nowadays, we can uh, see a, a various, uh, various uh, centers and labs that are dedicated uh, towards the research and development of AI. And there are a few to name, like for instance, IIAI uh, is, is one of them, uh, TII, the NYU uh, AD Center for Artificial Intelligence and Robotics. And uh, I believe the UAE uh, holds a strong position within the, the field of AI, thanks to the futuristic vision of our leaders. Yeah, no, I, I have to agree with you uh, since uh you know, as a, a new resident of UAE, uh, well, I, I'm probably not new anymore, uh, it's, it's over a year now, but I've absolutely seen phenomenal development within the UAE. It, it's really astounding. So I'm sure in the world league table, the UAE is going to be right up there in terms of leading this space. So, so with that in mind and, and keeping on the theme of the UAE, you know, what do you see? I mean, there are thousands of use cases where this can be applied, but you know, is there anything specific within the UAE that would be special that you see as a use case that, that potentially would be developed? Well, uh, to begin with, AI in general is extensively employed within the UAE government, and uh, there are a f there are a few sectors to note. For instance, the Ministry of De Defense uh, are utilizing AI within the, the their defense strategy, the, the defense strategies. Also, the Ministry of Interior within its uh, policies. But in my, uh, if you'd ask me about my uh, general opinion, I'd say 
The biggest leap in AI was integrating it through uh, or within our educational system. Ever since uh, ChatGPT went viral, uh, like uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's been about a year, uh, the Ministry of Education actually went out public and encouraged students in high schools and middle middle school to, to use ChatGPT as a, as somewhat an academic mentor or a, or a reference to their studies. Maybe uh, they'd encounter some difficulties or a topic that uh, or a concept that w they wouldn't understand uh, w from books, but uh, rather they'd. Uh, they'd urge an AI tool to explain it in a more uh, desired manner. Yeah. No, I, I, I have to agree with you on the education. Uh, it, it's a real multiplication force because, you know, AI developing and, and promoting education faster and faster and faster, and we have to learn more and more each day. Uh, I, I sometimes struggle to keep up with the number of new developments. So um, education is, is definitely going to be right up there uh, for the UAE uh, in particular. Uh, so, you know, with all these learnings that, that you've been doing so far, you know, from your own personal journey, you know, as an Emirati, uh, what, where do you see the, your career, you know, your future? I mean, we've talked already a little bit about how we see that, you know, AI is speeding up, but for you personally on the journey, and, and of course you'll be going back again to the studies and then coming back to UAE and, and bringing all this wealth of experience, what's on your career journey? What, what, how do you see it? Uh, well, thanks to my uh, my time and experience here interning at uh, G42 in Jazat and uh, IIAI, I was uh, fortunate enough to secure a research assistant position uh, at the NLP, the Na Language uh, Processing, uh, uh, the Natural Language Processing uh, Lab at uh, Pennsylvania State University this upcoming semester. And I'm so grateful that I had the opportunity to be here at Jazat and secure this position and hopes that sometime in the future I might uh, pursue a, a, higher, uh, a higher education degree through grad school that's more oriented towards artificial intelligence. Yeah, so, so absolutely, again, it, it's been great to hear about those, uh, those use cases, but for yourself and the journey in artificial intelligence, where are you? you know, what is your career aspirations? Where do you see yourself? What are you planning to do? You know, how does it look for you? Because I think you know, this is what it's all about. It's all about where do we as individuals and, and people like yourself that are clearly there, very far advanced in AI, what, what does that future career look like for you? Uh, well, thanks to my time and experience here interning at G42 in Jazat and IIAI, I was fortunate enough to secure a, a research assistantship position at the Natural Language Processing Lab uh, at Penn State. Uh, this upcoming semester, and I'm grateful for the, the, the time I had here at Njazat that uh, led me to this position. But uh, if we're talking about a long-term career plan, maybe I'm, I'm thinking of uh, pursuing a, a higher education degree through grad school, a degree that's more uh, oriented towards AI, and um, I hope that someday I, I might come with uh, enough knowledge and experience and uh, place the UAE in one of the leading uh, countries that, uh, that develop and uh, research AI. Oh, that, that's absolutely amazing. Maybe you'd be one of those first people to develop the general intelligence. Right? Why not? That we've, that we've all been looking forward to. I can really see that. I'm looking forward to another session with you in the future when we talk about GI. Um, you know, so, so from my side, really, it, it's truly been amazing to have you with us. And, and I feel like we could have you for months and years, you know, because you're just bringing so much value. Um, but you know, what, what are your final thoughts as you, as you leave us um, you know, on this internship? What, what are your final thoughts and comments? Lastly, I'd like to thank uh, G42 and Jazat and IIAI for this uh, journey and the opportunity they gave me to, to enhance my knowledge within AI. And uh, I'd like to personally thank you, Martin, for being uh, a personal uh, career advisor to me. I'd like to also thank my, my colleagues that I worked here with Jazat and the Inception Institute of Artificial Intelligence. A special thanks to my line manager at the Institute, Dr. Neha, for uh, serving as a mentor. In hard times, the, the folks there at uh, the Institute are quite busy with what they do, but uh, I'm glad they had the time to, they've, they've dedicated time, enough time to explain topics that were, uh, that were uh, introduced to me for the first time. And it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it was my pleasure being part of this journey, and thank you for this uh, 
Thank you for your time. You're so, so welcome. And it's been an absolute delight and pleasure. And when, when I, I look to what you've been doing, I have, you know, uh, amazing thoughts of what this country is going to be with people like yourself uh, bringing this value into the country and into the world in general. Um, so, yeah, so whilst it's uh, sort of a little bit sad to be saying goodbye to you, I know that we're not going to be saying goodbye to you. We're going to stay connected. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to wish you, you know, lots of luck with your continuation studies. Thank and you. I'm looking forward to see you back here again in the UAE Absolutely. after the completion of your studies. Thank you. Um, so, you know, not wanting to sort of fully end it here, uh, I think, um, you know, uh, for, the, for the audience, I think it uh, would be great if, if you want to hear and learn more about the experience of, of, of SAFE here. Uh, he does have a LinkedIn profile, uh, yes. right? Yeah. And um, you'll be posting some additional information about some of your learnings going Absolutely. forward. So I think that's great. So please, everyone, subscribe and, and get connected with him on, on LinkedIn. I definitely, for one, will be there. Uh, so please accept my me. my pleasure. Please accept me into your, into uh, your LinkedIn. I'd be honored to. <laughs> please accept me into your LinkedIn profile. And um, of course, you know, and you quite rightly mentioned the, the amazing work that's been taking place by the IIAI organization. Um, at the end of this video, we'll be providing that uh, web link as well to their site. Lots of great information that you can read up on there too. So with that, that kind of brings us to the end of, of our session. Uh, it's been wonderful to, to meet everyone here online. And uh, most of all, of course, Ms. Saif, I, I thank you so much. It's been a great honor to have you. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thanks I wish you really lots of again. future luck. And uh, we're going to be seeing you really, really Absolutely. very soon. Absolutely. Thank so, you. Thank you, thank you so you, much. Thank you. And from our side here at Injazat, uh, I wish you all a good day ahead. And thank you very much for attending and watching with us today. Thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs>